<laughs> this is the one minute review of This is the End. Uh, starring, hold on just a second, uh, James Franco, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel. Baruchel? I don't know. I've seen the guy before. Daniel McRide, Craig Robinson, Michael Sarah, Emma Watson, uh, Mindy Kaling. Uh, like, like basically a cast of um, people who are funny and like to talk about how much spot they smoke. Um, so yeah, I did go see this at the end, and the reason I saw it is because I thought, oh, I heard that it was funnier than it looked. Here's, um, here's the deal. Uh, if you go see this movie, then you get what you deserve. Uh, it's, it's rated R, and it's rated R because of, of just language and just grossness. Um, some of the violence, of course, is just, is, is absurd. Part of this movie, parts of this movie are very funny. Like, I, I legitimately laughed. Parts of this movie are just, the comedy is purely reliant on on bodily fluids, and it's just stupid. Um, there was nothing um, there's there was nothing creative about this movie. It seemed like it, it seemed like the guys who made it were having a ton of fun, like a ton of fun. It's better than the Green Hornet, uh, which isn't saying that much. Here's though the really interesting and sad thing about this film. So um, I don't care if I give away anything or not. Um, <laughs> there's a moment in this movie where they realize it's the apocalypse, like the biblical apocalypse, like the deal, okay? And um, Seth Rogen says, well, if this is the apocalypse, then that means there's a God, and like, who saw that coming, right? And one of the, one of the other characters answers, well, like 95% of the planet, Seth. Um, exactly, Seth. <laughs> there's a God, and you should have seen it coming. Um, that, I thought, was the, the best moment of the whole film. Here is the, the saddest moment in the whole film. Um, they get to heaven. Not everyone in the film gets to heaven, but some of them get to heaven, and they get to heaven through, of course, works righteousness, but, like, what are you going to do? So they're in heaven, and guess what heaven is like? Heaven is just as drug-addled, unimaginative, and uh, misogynistic as the party that started it all. Like, heaven is a party, and it looks exactly like the party they came from, except that the Backstreet Boys are there. I mean... If your understanding of heaven is so unimaginative that it's about smoking pot and riding a Segway and girls in bikinis, I, I don't know. I don't know how else to say this. I mean this uh, with utter sincerity. I pity your soul, and I'm sad for you, and and I think I should pray for you, and I think I will.